Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome yourselves back. My name is Psychotic Gamer Hero Josh and today I'm bringing you the second episode of the Wigan Career Mayor. But before we do get started, if you like any cheap game codes, please do check out Marquee Dragon. Their link will be down in the description. But we are going to jump straight on into this episode. And the first thing that I wanted to do in this episode really was to try and sign some new players. And as you can see here on my shortlist, we do have Carl Jenkinson, Nathaniel Klein, Nathan Aki and Semid Yesel. Now, I was trying to sign all of these players as much as I could because I really wanted to strengthen the squad in certain areas and I felt that the right back position as we had Boyce there who's getting on a little bit and we'd be better if we could sign someone else and the centre back I'd like a backup centre back as well and also Yesel was a quality player to have up front and I felt that he would provide a lot of pace for us and I noticed that he was on loan so I decided you know what Liverpool will hopefully better loan him out to me and that should be awesome and it would give me the ability to be able to have someone back up who will probably be quite strong eventually and maybe at the end of the season we could even look into buying him but Nathan Aki there we do get an offer from him and they wanted 1.8 million which I felt was fair enough and Spurs here wanted Sean Maloney and I don't want him so I'm an Arsenal fan Spurs can have my dead wood if they want and that's fine but there we go Yesel did accept the loan which is amazing and he's not a very high rated player I believe he's around 64 rated but he provides a lot of strength into the squad, and I did add him in, but I cut out all of that clips. But Aki also did accept, but the contracts prove it to be a little bit difficult in this episode, and as the episode goes on, you will notice how difficult it is for me to sign players because they're from higher league clubs. But you can see here me going for Jenkinson, and there you go. Like They want to know their role. They want to, you know, basically what you have to do is pay more for them because understandably he plays in the Barclays Premier League he doesn't really want to move down to the championship which is fair enough but again he's not a very high rated player so it does shock me that these types of players are actually this fussy about playing because Jenkinson to be honest hardly ever plays for Arsenal Aki never plays for Chelsea and they're being offered first team football and you can see that I had to add another four grand onto his wages just to try and pers per persuade him sorry to the club which is really really annoying and that's a common thing with career mode is trying to get people when you're at a low club can be difficult but I feel that these two would be great additions to the team they're both fairly solid players and they will grow into the future and obviously we've only got Ak we've only got yes on loan but Aki and Jenkinson if we do sign them will be my own and there you can see Nathan Aki does accept the transfer offer which is absolutely amazing and it started to rain outside so I'm very sorry if you can hear that but I need to do this commentary today so I'm sorry if there's any background noise but there we go Jenkinson did accept after I gave him another pay rise up to 30 grand per week which is just ridiculous for him to be that fussy but we do move on into a game it's a friendly I wanted to try the team out and I'll tell you now this game was really good it was a really good game and I got a really positive feeling about this career mode from using this team and you will see that how nicely it plays I just find it to be really enjoyable to be able to play and to be able to use and I really am looking forward to using it more and more and I think by the way guys this career mode will go on for around about three seasons I'm get I'm thinking one season to get into BPL one season to finish top 10 and then try to get into like the top seven in the BPL but here we go they played through to Ross McCormack and what a finish that was in the 21st minute and he is just phenomenal I he hasn't got a very high potential I did look up some potentials a little bit just just try and get players that would actually grow a little bit not too much not like Bacali or someone but enough and McCormack there a really really solid finish by anyone standard really and I was very impressed with that and there we go I believe that was McManamum who came close to putting us 2-0 up there but as I said this team is just amazing to use it's really fun to use and I really did enjoy it but moving on to the second half we did give away a quite a few fouls this game but moving on in we do have McCormack again just trying to get past that goal and look how close that was that was really unlucky for us not to put that away and I believe at this point I did make some substitutions um, right about now yet. Yeah. And they don't come on for about 5-10 minutes in game time. But you will see what happens when they do come on. Because this is quite impressive in my opinion. And you can see there, right, uh, Yesel has just come on. He's literally just come on the field. He turns round and bam, what a goal. I mean, for a 64 rep player, I'm not too sure how good this team were that I was playing. But Jesus Christ, what a screamer. And... He's put us off to a good start. At least I'm feeling a bit more confident about the championship. And I'm hoping that we can hopefully get instant promotion into the Premier League. And I'm thinking we can win it. You know, I think we've got a team that is capable and strong enough to be able to win it. And that was just like the nail in the coffin for me, really. 
And you can see that I do get a few more chances of cheeky wide pass. I will be abusing LBYs, corners, you know, crosses, everything that I can to try and win as many games as possible. And if you guys would like me to put it up to world class difficulty, I'm playing on professional at the moment, then leave that in the comments down below as the series goes on. And if you find that it gets too easy, then I'm more than happy to do that. But that was the end of the first game, the first friendly, should I say. We do have a game against Man United coming up in the Community Shield, which I hope to at least go out in style, not to get battered by Man United. But if you have enjoyed this video, guys, I would really appreciate it if you could leave me around about five likes on this. It would be really, really good for the first episode of Career Mode. I hope you guys enjoy the return of it because I'm going to love this and I think this will be a really enjoyable series on my channel. Thank you very much for watching, guys, and I will speak to you next time. Goodbye.